Welcome to this practice update. I'm Dr. Farzana Hafizula. Joining me today is Dr. Kimran Rathmill. Dr. Rathmill is a Cornelius Craig Professor of Medicine and Director for the Division of Hematology and Oncology at Vanderbilt University. Great to have you here. Thank you, glad to be here. So we're here in San Francisco at the ASCO GU 2018 National Meeting. And I'd like for us to talk a little bit about the update on the role of the IMDC risk groups in kidney cancer, the International Metastatic Renal Cell Carcinoma Database Consortium. We know that you were a co-author on an mm-hmm. abstract investigating the prognostic role of BAP1 and TP53 in the context of these IMDC risk groups. Can you tell us a little bit about your general findings? Sure. That was a really exciting collaborative activity. Uh, a group of us from uh, the U.S. and Canada pooled data together to try to develop new prognostic factors that we can use for establishing how patients do with metastatic renal cell carcinoma. Previously, all of the risk factors really had to do with the patient, with laboratory values that had to do with the general well-being of the patient, as well as the stage of the tumor. But what was missing was the, the genomic underpinnings of the tumor. And so this is the first real evidence of a classification system that can separate tumors into good behaving tumors and poor behaving tumors. Excellent. Specifically, though, does the presence of these alterations impact prognosis beyond IMDC risk groups? Well, that's a good question. So I I don't think that we know that clearly yet, but it it looks like they can behave independently of the previously established risk groups. But probably, as, as we know as physicians, when you combine information, our clinical information as well as our molecular information, we really get the best information that we can present to a patient. Well, how would you estimate prognosis in renal cell carcinoma, and what role do these IMDC risk groups continue to play? Just can you outline mm-hmm. that for our viewership? So they, they play the biggest role when you first meet a patient and need to give them an estimate for their overall prognosis. And the best data that we can give them, it really helps them make decisions about therapy, about what they want to do with, with their lives, and how they want to approach this. So. Um, that this is very valuable information that we can give to a patient. And if we can do that with molecular information, we can be more definitive in telling the patient what kind of tumor that they have. Well said. We want to thank you very much for sharing your expertise here in Practice Update and hope to see you back very soon. Thank you. And to our viewers, thank you again for joining us for this Practice Update. I'm Dr. Farzana Hafizula. See you again soon.